Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Reborn to Kill Again, the first studio record by the band Overcast. Today we're celebrating the 15th anniversary of the record, so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple, I've been a massive Shadows Fall fan for over 15 years, and I wanted to check out Brian's fair previous band, which is this one, Overcast. It was the year 2008, but before this compilation was released, I listened through their first two studio records and I was like, this shit is amazing. And like three months later, this compilation Reborn to Kill Again was released. What's interesting about this thing is the fact that it was recorded in 2006, but they've searched for a record label to release it for like two years, which is kinda sad. Also, the Wikipedia page states that it has 11 classic songs and two unreleased ones. That is not true. We actually have 13 pre recordings because for example, As A Whole and Two Degrees Below are two songs, not one. What else can I say about Overcast? It's a band started in 1991. Many people consider them to be the pioneers of metalcore genre. What's interesting about them is the fact that the lineup hasn't changed since 1994. The band broke up in 1998, that's when Brian Fur joined Shadows Fall, and they reunite every couple of years to just celebrate their music, which is kind of very cool. The lineup, as you can see, is Brian Fur on the vocals, Scott and Pete on the guitars, Mike on the bass, you might know him from Kiss which engage in the fact that he does lots of cover arts for different bands, and finally Jay on the drums. The production was handled by Nick Raskulinich, or however you pronounce that shit, and Adam Dudkiewicz, the guitarist of Kiss which engage, and it's tight, it's clean but heavy, no loudness or no clipping, I truly enjoy how the guitars and the drums and the vocals are mixed here. Message is diverse, the songs are about personal struggles, emotions like sadness, anger, society, stuff like that. Structure of the tracks is advanced, usually it follows a standard structure of intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, another change, verse, another change, breakdown, bridge, chorus again, outro, sometimes it's slightly different. There are lots of changes here, but most of the segments do come back one way or the other. The music on this record could be described as metalcore, old school metallic hardcore, that kind of stuff. The album starts with the song Diluting Inertia slash Grifter, and the first thing I'm going to notice here is the drumming. It's stellar for the entire record. Jay is still killing it after all those years, I love his precision, his groove, his style. The drumming is just perfect on this record. Next is the bass by Mike and it's audible. I love the fact that the basses doesn't follow the guitars that much. We have some segments here and there where only the drummer and the basses are playing and I truly really enjoy that stuff. What else can I say? The basses rules here as well. Next are the guitars. I truly enjoy most of those very old school hardcore -ish guitar riffs mixed with those Gothenburg melodic death metal ones. You know, the tremolo riffs, I just love them. We also have some more thrashier guitar riffs here and there that remind me of Slayer. I enjoy that stuff as well. The guitar work on this record is mostly great. Some of the guitar riffs are slightly generic, but that's to be expected. Finally, we have the vocals by Brian Farr, and he's straight up killing it on this record. I feel like over the years his voice expanded, he sounds way better than on the original recordings, especially when it comes to the clean singing. The cleans on the originals were like, okay, but here he sounds very good. I also love his screaming, yelling, shouting and growling. I feel like his growls got slightly toned down compared to the original versions of the songs, but I still do love them. I have no idea why they've decided to combine Diluting Inertia and Grifter, but I do enjoy this opening track, especially the Grifter part, the vocals there, the grooves, the guitar riffs, the drumming. It's all fucking fantastic. 8 out of 10, Root Bound Apollo is one of the unreleased tracks. It was featured on the second Shadows Fall release of One Blood, but it was slightly changed to be more of a melodic death metal song. And here we get the original version, which is much more hardcore punkish, I would say. I truly enjoyed the chorus here, it's way faster than on the Shadows Fall version. But some of the guitar riffs here, I feel like Shadows Fall came up with better ones. I still love this song, 
I feel like it's the highlight of this release. It's so fun to listen to, the vocals slay, the grooves are perfect, 9 out of 10, 7 featuring Grin. Now this one I feel like it's the weakest song on this release. It's also inferior to the original version because I feel like the screaming and growling of that version was heavier and the atmosphere was much more desolate and darker and here it's not like that but I still do enjoy this song so 7 out of 10. Filter of Syntax is another highlight of this record, I truly enjoy this re-recording especially when it comes to the vocals and the overall quality. I love the more melodic death metal parts on this song and the slight clean singing in the chorus. The heavier parts are amazing as well. 9 out of 10, Reborn to Kill Again is another unreleased song from 1998 and I must say that this one is a banger, I truly love it. It has that melodic death metal vibe to it, it kinda sounds like a Shadows Fall song from the year 2000. I love the instrumental work, especially the tremolo riffs, the more melodic parts, but the heavier ones are also amazing, the vocal performance on this song slays. I have nothing to criticize here, 10 out of 10, as a whole slash 2 degrees below. Now this is another compilation of two songs, I don't know why. I feel like they could have just dropped as a whole. It's fine as an intro here, but I do enjoy two degrees below way more. I love the vocals here, the grooves, the breakdowns, the atmosphere. It's a fun track. 8 out of 10, Span. Now this version I feel has way better vocals than the original. I truly enjoy the atmosphere of this song. Some of the guitar riffs here and there are not for me, but I do enjoy the heavier parts and the outro with that cool new metal riff. You know which one, that evil sinister sounding one. It's a fun song. 9 out of 10. Your destructive self. Yet again, I prefer this version over the original one because of the vocals. Love the guitar riffs here. Some of them do remind me of Slayer. It has a good vibe, you know, 8 out of 10. For Indifference is my second least favorite song on this release. They could have just skipped it. It's fine, but it's nothing special. It sounds like a filler track, but I do think that this version sounds better than the original one. 7 out of 10, Styrofoam, Death Machine. Now this one is a banger. I've loved the original one, and this one is even better because of the quality, and <laughs> the intro reminds me of those old school progressive death metal bands like Cynic, Pestilence, Atheist, stuff like that. I don't know why Overcast did such a song. We have also some more heavier metal ish parts in the verses, then in the middle of the song it has that melodic death metal aesthetic to it, and the outro is actually the intro, so yet again prog death metal vibes. 10 out of 10, Fate's Design. Is another banger, I love the tremolo guitar riffs here, the evil sinister atmosphere, that stuff is fucking amazing. The vocals are also way better than in the original song, 9 out of 10, Apocalypse Upon Us. Now this one is just a great track, it doesn't stand out from the rest that much, I do enjoy the vocal performance, the more sinister slayerish guitar riffs, and the breakdown, 8 out of 10, Bleed Into One, now this is also an amazing recording. For some reason it's way shorter than the original version of the song. I love the vocals here, the guitars, the drumming and also the bass. I forgot to talk about the bass, but I do love it on every song, like it enriches the sound of the band. This track is just great, I feel like it's better than the original version, 8 out of 10. And the final song is actually an European bonus track and this actually insults me. Why is Allegiance to the Flesh just a bonus track? Like, people in America are not going to have this song on their CD? Why? Just why? This is my favorite Overcast song. The intro, the verses and the chorus are just fucking perfect. The screaming here, the death metalish and melodic death metalish sections, it's so brutal, it stays in your head, it's memorable, it's heavy, I just fucking love it. And also the middle part of the song slays as well. This song doesn't have any flaws, I enjoy every single section, every single guitar riff, as I said before, especially the verses and the chorus. Love everything about it. Why it's not included on the standard edition, 
I don't know. Seven featuring Green and Four Indifference are on the standard edition and not this song? This song is a fucking classic. Especially this version because it's way better than the original one because the vocals in the original one, especially the slight clean singing in the verses, I was like, it's not good, but this version fucking slays. It's a classic. 11 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable, the flow is fitting, groupability. Yeah, it's a great compilation. I enjoyed it from beginning to the end. Those songs are classics, and I feel like these new versions are way better than the previous ones. Most of them, at least. The highlights here are Allegiance to the Flesh, which isn't even on the standard release for some reason, Rootbound Apollo, Reborn to Kill Again, Filter of Syntax, Pan, Styro from Death Machine, Face Design. I highly recommend listening to this release, it's a classic one. Celebrate Norway by spinning this record today, it deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, in the description, I will see you in my other videos, bye!